Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your third fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Early version of Sean Roden versus Phil Heath 2008. I decided to go with 2011 for Sean Roden. I, I went back and forth in my mind. I thought 2012 would have been an excellent little comparison, even though these are both their debuts at this event. But 2012 versus 2008 Phil Heath, they both placed third at the Olympia. So that would have been a good, fair comparison in as well. But I went with 2011, their debuts, and it looks like Phil Heath, like I said, he placed third here. And Sean Roden placed way, way down at the bottom. And I have to say, their conditioning reflects that. Look at even from the lags to the arms, the, the muscle separation in the arms, the vascularity. Phil Heath, aside from the midsection here, he's just flattening Sean Roden. And they're similar structure here, so there's no real X factors. There's no one guy's so much bigger than the other. So it's a pretty straightforward comparison, guys. Front lat spread seems to be the same situation, even in the midsection this time. Much more muscle separation, although silhouette-wise... Sean Roden has this one. You can see his lats filled out quite a bit. But sh but uh, the doctor, Phil Heath, I suppose he wasn't the doctor yet. Phil Heath, he's he's not bad for Phil Heath. This is not a bad front lat spread at all. It's actually pretty darn good conditioning-wise. Take all that into consideration. The the guns that he had in the front double. I'm giving going to give Phil Heath an edge coming out of the front shots. Going into the side chest. Now, the chest itself, I like Roden, but I cannot give him this pose, guys. Look at Phil Heath, the muscle separation. It's all about quality. As our friend Louis Marco would say, qualities, baby, please, proper, proper. But either way, guys, it's muscle separation. It's just huge man in Phil Heath. I would give him probably an edge because... There's no side tricep to speak of. I couldn't find one of Sean Roden. It's kind of kind of disappointing. But guys, I'm sure Phil Heath would have fetched an easy victory in that side tricep pose. So probably an edge coming out of the side. Going into the back development. And this is where you can definitely see the conditioning. The condition of Phil Heath. It's It's quality. Look, guys. It's... It's hamstring separation. It's dry, dry bodybuilder versus a not-so-dry bodybuilder in Sean Roden. Sean Roden, hey, not a bad back, not a bad set of glutes, things of that nature, but it's just not Phil Heath. Rear double bicep is the same situation from the lower lat insertions to the upper back, that broad back of the delts of Phil Heath. It's just muscle condition. Much, much, much better, much better. Glutes hamstrings if you couldn't see it in the rear lat spread look at how dry phil is so even right from the get-go and you know what's funny guys and i noticed this and i noticed things i do notice things phil heath debuted with a third place finish at the olympia and look what happened to the rest of his career he became one of the greatest of all time lee haney placed third at his Mr. Olympia debut. You see where I'm going with this, guys? Placing third at your Mr. Olympia debut seems to be a, you know, a, a, a stardust memory. You're sprinkling the Midas touch on these men, and you know who placed third last year. You know what I'm getting at. Anyway, back into the front shots with the ab and thigh. And I'd give Roden this one just because of his abs. But... All conditioning, though, or not all conditioning aside, if you do focus just mainly on the conditioning, the legs, upper body even, the V-taper, I would give this one to the doctor. But, you know, Roden, one of his best shots, if not his best pose. And I actually detected a little bit of my Canadian accent in that last pose when I said pose. So, Sean Roden behind by two rouges, eh? Ooh, that's got a sting, huh? Telling you right now, without A's and A's, Canadians wouldn't really be able to talk. I hear people having entire conversations. Ooh, yeah, hey, hey, huh? Ah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. And that is Canadian lingo. 
And we will finish this little comparison off with the most muscular as per usual. And Philip Heath, much like all of these poses. And if you can't see that, ladies and gentlemen, look at the arms, look at the legs, look at the muscle separation. Although, I like the abs here for Sean Roden, and I like the feathering in his quads. But look at the vascularity in Phil Heath's quads. And not to mention the muscle separation. Delts. Look at the delts and look at the arms. Do a comparison. There's just, there is no comparison. Structurally, I will say Roden, he has the wider clavicle. He's a little bit taller, but that mostly be, could be contributed to Roden's big alien head. He, do you ever notice that? He has a big, huge, round, bulbous dome. One alien voice. This one. Wow. Here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen, of this third fan-requested Friday matchup, Phil Heath 2008. Hope you enjoyed this one. And to get your, I actually seen a great uh, comment. How do you get uh, to think of all these requests? Well, I don't think of them, commenter. You guys do. And whoever comments first on this video, you'll be next week's third Fan Requested Friday matchup. And that's that's about it. That's about it. I hope I helped you out anyway. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.